Have you ever tried to use Photoshop and this happened? Right, I just want to zoom in and work on this little bit here. <laughs> or this. Now to add a little bit of drama. Eh? Too much? I'm a disgrace. Or maybe even this. Now to do some dodging and burning. I think I've overcooked it. Where's me brush gone? Bloody... What? We just click and drag. <laughs> click and drag. <laughs> you need my new course, Photoshop for Morons. Oh, I do. I need that. You do. Photoshop for Morons gives you three hours of tutorials that not only teach you how to process your images in a masterful way, but also how to drive the bus that is Adobe Photoshop. All right, but where do I find it, Gavin? Uh, there's a link in the description below. There's a link? What? Below the video. It's just it's just right there in the description. No, it's, it's just a plastic table. <sighs> Maybe this course isn't for you, Clarence. No, no, I need it. <sighs> I'll, I'll email you a link. How about that? Yeah, I'm not very good with email. Oh, for f Why don't you just post it to me in the mail? No, I'm not, not doing that, Clarence. Oh. I guess I'll just keep using Lightroom then. Uh. All right, Clarence, I'll, I'll send it to you in the post, but only for you. Ah, Photoshop for morons. I can't wait. <laughs> Clarence, he's just, oh, hang on, it's my phone. Just, oh, it's my lawyer, I better take this. Hey up, Chad, how's it going? As your legal counsel, I've already received one complaint hey? about the offensive title of your new course, Photoshop for Morons. Who? Who complained? It was Clarence. <laughs> ha happy thoughts, Gavin. Oh, right, yeah. Um, Photoshop for Morons is on sale right now, but only for five days. There's a link in the description. Mm. <laughs> one small other matter. Mm. The matter of my... Uh... My retainer. Uh, please buy my course. Yeah, I think you're gonna love this spot. It's one of my favourites on the. Oh. Colin, what are you doing here? Well, we're just we're just hiking up the lake. You're welcome to join us if you want. No, no. You, you don't want to hike with us? No. Oh, all right. Well, I'll see you later then. I guess. Yeah. Right. Oh, is that Adam Gibbs? Yeah. Awesome. Maybe, maybe I will join you. Now. Oh, you're interested now, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Now that he's here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, let's let's go and do that then. So today we're heading up to a very popular lake called Landslide Lake, and I, I don't mind disclosing that location because it's already done. It's already rinsed the car park is always full in the summer so it, it makes no odds that I divulge that particular location but it's a good 10 years since I've been here and uh, I struggled to get a good shot last time even though it's a spectacular location it's just difficult to get a good shot and it's one of those spots you really need to get good light to have any chance of getting a brilliant shot so we've come on a day where there's supposed to be plenty of cloud and then tomorrow a bit of rain and that's when you get dramatic light during that transition between the two different types of weather sun and cloud and then rain so I really do hope that this three hour hike well it's probably going to be a four hour hike is worth the effort I'm sure it will be though I'm sure it will I was beginning to worry a little bit that my estimation of three to four hours was a bit optimistic, but at least the trail provided some nutritious bush snacks, provided they didn't kill us. I don't know if it's poisonous. Dog, what's this fungus, Adam? Chicken, chicken, chicken of the woods. Cluck, cluck, chicken, 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 chicken of the woods. Cluck, 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 chicken, 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 chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken at the woods. Cluck, cluck. <laughs> that was without question the best thing I have ever seen. And if you want to see more techno raps from Dick Turpin, please smash that like button. All right, so we've got to the campsite, we've set up, and now we're feeling pretty knackered. 
like, like we don't want to do the extra, what, hour? One hour high? All the way up to the lake. It's too much. Right, do you want to do it? I don't know. Yeah. Do, oh, do yeah. you want to do it? Well, I don't want to do it, but I will do it. You will do it. Okay. Just way up over there. You probably can't see this, but there's a mountain just way up there. It's got some nice light on it. So if the mountain that we're trying to actually shoot at the lake has got anything like that kind of light, plus all these beautiful gray clouds, then that's exactly what we came here for. So maybe we should just have a coffee and a snack and just head up, eh? What's that terrible smell? Yeah, it's you for sure. Oh, it's me. God. So we're back on the trail for the last one hour to the lake. And even though I'm using the same backpack just to put my camera gear in and jackets and stuff, oh, it's so nice to just lighten that load a bit and have a rest. We've got back on the train, it's like someone's just put a new battery up me, Sheriff's. I've brought some Ichiban, very spicy noodles. And they are quite delicious, but on the downside, Amanda will have to put up with my paws, quite literally sweating Ichiban tomorrow. And it's, it's somewhat gag inducing, I must, I must confess. She really is one lucky lady, and she knows it. Now, one thing you have to know about Adam Gibbs is that he simply cannot be outdone. He made sure he got to the lake before I did. Stand and deliver, you bugger. So this is it, this is Landslide Lake. Like I said, it's many years since I was here, but it's exactly as I remember it. It's basically a beach full of dead timbers, driftwood you could call it, and this beautiful green lake. So when the, when the sun gets slightly overhead, you really can see through this water to the probably silt or algae below the surface, and it really pops these lovely green almost aquamarine tones and of course those fantastic peaks I mean just look at that and that's the thing about Vancouver Island is people don't really think that we have monster peaks but we really do and I think that one is called Colonel Foster earlier in the year if you come here like June-ish maybe May there's a big waterfall that pours down that cliff face there down into the lake it's quite beautiful but Obviously it's the end of August now, so that's dried up. A lot of the snow has melted and you can actually hike to the back of the lake there to another lake up the top, which has a lot more ice on it. I think it's called Berg Lake. I have yet to do that. So if we've got some time tomorrow and I don't feel too blistered up, I might just get up there. But anyway, I'm gonna get busy and try and find my composition because there's such a little bit, just a little bit of light on that peak there. It might ignite, we'll see. Okay, so I'm kind of tempted to do a panorama. And if I do do that, it will probably start here. This will be my far right frame. And then I'd sweep through the valley and try and encapsulate all of this detail. And if that doesn't work, the other shot that I'm thinking of is just to go right back to that starting frame. But this composition really only works if something happens up here in this area of empty sky where there's just blue cloud well just there's just blue sky but if i get some cloud action in there i might have a shot now normally i would compose this kind of shot you know i would i'd be going for the the full mountain range but there's something about this beautiful leading line and all of this detail and texture that just sucks you into the center and then the way that this peak gets really pointy especially if i angle this down i mean look at that that's just, it's just ridiculous. So it's looking as if those clouds might do something interesting. So I think I'll go and get the tripod and I'll commit to this shot. This frame is actually one of the handheld test shots from earlier and I picked it simply because I just really liked the clouds. Now I know if I stagger up here five o'clock in the morning in the dark and I get here 
instead of stumbling around trying to find a composition now i know where it is and it's a total pain to do this kind of hiking up here for sunset knowing that you're probably not going to get anything but this is why we do it because in the morning it's way worse when it's dark and you're staggering around with your headlamp a face like a microwave mango you want to just get straight to your shot and nail it and i reckon i've found it Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Let me turn this around. So we're finished, we've given up and we've just packed up. We've had a little bit of a salty snack and now it's almost dark, we're gonna head down the hill. By the time we get to the campsite, it'll be completely dark. Well, he's had a bad night. He got up here and uh, he left his camera batteries down in the tent. I offered to lend him my, my Sony A7R 2 and he, he spat out his coffee and said, no, thanks. Can't do it. No, I, I understand. All right, let's go down this hill. Oh. And so we hiked another hour back down to the campsite and got cozy in our tents. But would we be too exhausted to get up for the sunrise? Tune in to next week's episode and hit that subscribe button. Oh, you've, you've changed your mind now, have you? You're interested now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's a bit creepy, isn't it? Uh -huh. It's very creepy. <laughs> That's not that <laughs> You can't even do that. Oh, I've lost my momentum now. Chicken, chicken, chicken of the woods. Cluck, cluck. Chicken, chicken, chicken of the woods. Cluck, cluck. Carol, come on. <laughs> Join in. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll... Chicken, chicken, chicken of the woods. <laughs> no. <Not much> <laughs> I loved it. Uh, I will be expecting that um, promptly. Thank you. <laughs> no.